doubt it's ever likely to change. Hello, this is Barani, and I'm playing uh, Gothic One Part 8. It should be, uh, if I'm right about that. And uh, why did I put these three points into decks last time? Because um, I want to get on an adventure to get a bow. No, not a bow. Yeah, a bow. That's what it's called in English, which is a language that I'm pretty good at. Today, which is a day that is right now. Uh, let me have a look at a thing. I put these three points in there because uh, although I would only need two to wield this bow. Um, let's have a look if how this works. So now I can get back out. And with one I can sheath and unsheath my sword. With two... Oh my hell. With two I can use a bow. And with three I can use magic, which I don't have uh, at the current point in um, the thing that is called time. Now, let's see if we can get a better bow. Which actually requires a little more decks, um, but you will see that when we get there. And um, yeah, so last time, uh, last time was pretty, uh, pretty frustrating because I could not find the NPC uh, that is needed to point me in the right direction that is the person which is cypher in the bar uh, and you you need this empathy this first instance of an empathy mpc telling you that cypher is uh, buying large amounts of wheat to uh, open up the dialogue option with cypher himself um, and i think the empathy is not in the new camp which is why i couldn't find him that's what my research indicated so let me see what the right path should be to a place that is called the old mine as i said before this is largely uh, blind but not entirely especially in the beginning where you can screw things up and i don't have any idea how all this works um i kind of want to be a little took by the hand let's uh, let's save and try out the bow that we have I think that's a good idea I think all you have to do is actually uh, have it like lit up okay so I do not seem to hit the scavenger I don't do any damage. How's that? Oh, so many of them. I thought you could like... Ah, oh, now all of them come. That's not good. Die, scavenger. Level up. Yay! This is kind of an... Nice beginning, if you ask me. So, die! Whew! It was almost too much for my poor nerves. Oh, and I forgot another thing that I read, but that we will do that later on, I guess. Have I gotten all the loot? I think so! Let's continue on. Um, the old main mine is a place where uh, you can find a bow. As you might have uh, found out by now. Uh, it's, it is pretty, pretty cool, if you ask me. So, oh man, that thing almost killed me. Which is not cool. I will now eat something. Uh, here. Grilled meat in my face. Om nom nom. Alright, so we have to cross the water. If I'm uh, not mistaken. Does rice give me any bonus? Bony? Yes, it gives me HP. 
this ugly freaking blood fly needs to die a s a f m p that's not the right abbreviation i am aware of that okay okay So, should we kill the mole rats? Should probably save once more. Just because we can. And I kind of want to kill all these because... Uh, level 2, which is now level 3, is a little bit like not up to par to my three and a half hours playtime, I think. Which I largely uh, attribute to uh, the drug dealing simulation 2015 trademark uh, Germany. <sighs> Which was uh, the biggest pain in the balls ever. I don't think it was at all intuitive, but oh well. So we don't want to kill any more birdie birds. Birdie birds, come here, my friends. So how many uh, how many arrows do I have? Uh, 67 left. That should actually it's actually quite a nice amount. So. Ouch! Ah, scavengers! You are the brute of the devil himself. Okay, let's loot everything, which is uh, also not really... Not really... Uh, like a thing that is easily done in this game. Everything is uh, made so you have a hard time doing it. So I think you can go either way, right or left. But let me have a look at my map on the on the tablet thing. Yeah, you should probably uh, should probably be able to go either way. Let's go here because that is less on the outer rims of the galaxy, which is uh, the cheese bell. We are trapped beneath. And I think the outer rims are the most dangerous part in the galaxy. When you go there once, you cannot unsee the horrible monsters that lurk beneath the shadows, which are uh, the nothingness of space and time. So, is this the mine, I ask myself? Or is this the rubber camp? I don't know. Let's take this one um, and call it after and see one. It's probably not the mine. But it doesn't look like it's inhabited by a lot of robbers either, so... Who knows these days? Everything's possible. Am I even recording? I think so, yes. Nothing up here. How delightful. Let's go down the ladder because we could have jumped with the pressing left and right and took no damage. But hey, we can do it the legit way also, which costs everyone's costs everyone's time. Yeah, I think this is the mine. Uh, what are these things? The winch. So what does that do? Nothing? Probably nothing. Uh, 
And can you? Oh, you... Let's try that out. I'm... I am... Oh, you actually can mine the ore? Do you get anything? Is there any ore coming out? Or isn't there? And how long does it take? Or we had uh, before. I can't tell if, if we got any. I don't know. I could uh, look at it in the video later on, but now I don't have any idea. Okay, and I did not equip the pickaxe, but merely used it on this thing. Oh, it's dark in here. So take off all your clothes. I am getting so high, I want to take my clothes off. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's eat some hell mushrooms, because why not? Yeah, <clears throat> that's one thing. Let's talk to Drake, first of all. Can you tell me anything about the mine? Well, this part we're standing in now is the main shaft. A system of catwalks takes you down to the bottom. And they're digging for ore everywhere. But you need to be careful. There are many mine crawlers there as well. Right at the bottom is the smelting place. We're smelting a part of the ore to use it right there. What do I need to look out for in the mine? Mine crawlers, mainly. Dangerous beasts. We've had to give up a few caves because of them. They've eaten quite a few diggers, too. Tell me about the crawlers. Oh, but my tongue's so dry. You bring me a beer, and I'll tell you something about the crawlers. Here, drink to my health. Thanks. Well, crawlers live in large packs, mostly in the side caves. They've never attacked us here in the main shaft yet. If you ever meet one of them, run. Or stand with your back to the wall. That way you may stand a chance. Tell me more about it. If you want to know more, go to Viper. He's the smelter. Or talk to Ian. He's the boss. He organizes everything here in the mine. Where can I find Ian? He's right in the middle of the main shaft next to the storeroom. Oh, one more thing. You know Thoris, don't you? Forget it. There's just one person who has the say in here, and that's Ian. He's the boss. If you get into trouble with him, you'll be in trouble with us all. Understood? See ya. Yes, sirree. I gotcha. So we came in from here, and... Turning around as slowly as I can, as always. Let's have a look who's standing over there, supervising this situation like a boss. Just freaking guard. Yo, guard! Speak up. Tell me about the mine. The diggers collect the ore, and we protect them from the crawlers. What do you know about the crawlers? The whole lot of them should be wiped out if you ask me. How are you? Man, you're getting on my nerves. <laughs> Alrighty, then. Bye bye. I like the atmosphere. It is moody and. Raven herbs. Mmm, sounds delicious. And the music is cool. As always, uh, up until this point, it's really uh, awesome. The music is awesome. I read about um, in the original German version 
which I'm not playing for obvious reasons because I'm playing this for uh, the English channel. Uh, there is a gig uh, from the German band In Extremo built into the game. Like uh, at some point, at, in some, in one of the chapters in the game, you get to hear them play and see them play also in front of a pub or something in some at some place. I don't know uh, where I'm going, so I'm just gonna go down. Down, down, down. No, it says it burns, burns, burns like a ring of fire. Isn't there like a Shatner version where, where he tells us this, like in this spoken, uh, spoken words? Um, style. Snipes, old buddy, how's things? How's things? I have a deal to suggest. If you make Aaron leave the chest alone, I'll give you ten ore. <laughs> I'll see you later. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna do that because I want the XP. Your ten ore are not gonna make me any more rich than I am. It's just tip uh, like a... Uh, like a drop on the hot iceberg or something. What are you doing here? I'm watching diggers like snipes over there to make sure they keep their hands off my chest. <laughs> I've heard that there are gangsters in the mine here. They want the ore. Do you think I'm stupid? They'd never dare to do anything like that. The diggers have found a massive ore nugget. So what? You have to take a look at it. Forget it. Ian sent me. You should go to see him at once. What does he want? He wants to give you a reward for your good work. Ah, really? I think you'd better go now. Hmm. I think I messed it up. Didn't I? Well, let's see this to the end it deserves, which is uh, awesome. yeah, sure. Which is a really bad end. Let's see. Uh, now it is. Well, 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 well. I think um, we could do that again, cause I don't want to mess up all the quest opportunities. You know what I mean? So let's see if we can jump down here in style. Yes, we can. The best thing about all this is, um... How's I have a few... Alrighty. I'll see you later. Yeah, see you later, alligator. Best thing about this is that... I could probably just open the chest and take whatever's in there. Couldn't I? It's a box, not a chest. Oh no! I know I'm quite liberal with my saving and loading here. Ian sent me. You should go to see him at once. What does he want? He'll kill you because you're so lazy. Well, that's no news. Scram! What the hell? So I can't lure him away at all. Can I? I think what I'll do. So I'm coming back. I'm coming back later to see if there are more dialogue options uh, when I have like observed the situation here more closely. So maybe I have new information to get by and uh, do stuff with uh, in this dialogue. If you know what I mean. Meanwhile, we will collect everything there is to collect. Look at how fast this driving works. It's a masterpiece of modern technology, this game. That's what it is. Ulbert, how are you, my friend? How's it hanging? What's in the storeroom? That's none of your business. Oh, really? Standing around for so long must make you thirsty. 
You bet, man. I could use a good swig now. Got anything on you? I probably have. Here you go. Have one on me as well. Thanks. Lesson number one in Gothic, always carry some alcohol. Is there anything special in the storeroom now? Some chest that we store supplies in. The keys disappeared though. Disappeared? I bet Aleph was involved. That guy can't be trusted. Hmm. So you can try to lure everyone Listen, away. Ian and the others are sitting at the bottom having grilled meat. What? Without me? Well, I'll collect my share. Do that. Please do that. So there's all that good stuff here. The ham and the meat and the stuff and the things and the boxes. Left was bad. Right. Left was bad. Right. Huh? How? How? How do these work? They work differently. They work differently every time, what the hell? Well, I will come back to that later. Let's see what the people have to tell. He's running away. No, he isn't. How are you? I have to work. If the guards catch me standing around talking, they'll cut my rations. What do you know about mine crawlers? We had to close down the big pit at the bottom. It's overrun with mine crawlers. There are mine crawlers all over the place. Can't you hear them? I sure can. Who has the say around here? Viper's the smelter. He knows all about the oven. He has a body like iron. He don't mind the heat. He spends all day melting the ore. Tell me about the mine. Well, there's a lot of caves where there's still some ore left. But the crawlers just make it impossible to work in them. Too many attacks. Too many losses. Alright. Oh, the other guy has a name. Oh, a new face. Have you ever dug ore, boy? Have you been here long? I've already been here ten years. Oh, believe me, I've learned and experienced quite a lot here. I've encountered many dangers and managed to stay alive. In the old times, when we worked in the abandoned mine, the one which is deserted now, and the supporting beams collapsed. But that's old stories. Just look at the other guy hitting... Grimes shoulder over and over. Ouch. You must have heard about many escape plans as well. Listen, boy, I know you want to get out of here, but forget it. You better forget the thought of escape. I saw the faces of those who tried to get out of the barrier. Don't make the same mistake. The barrier will stop everybody. I don't want to dig in the mine for the next 10 years of my life. No, you won't. Perhaps you'll be one of the real big shots. <laughs> Who knows? You'll work your way up. But no matter how far you'll get, the barrier will finally stop you. Good luck. Same to you, boy. Same to you. Well, the, the old cheese bell. Working on this giant man. Oh, that's Ian. Hey, you. There was no grilled meat at all. Oh, um, I guess I must have been mistaken. Have a good day. 
Oh no, he's coming. Let going, me pass. Going back up. That's not Let good. me pass. Oh, come on, it's not so hard to, Let go, me pass. to go past me, dude. Let's talk to Ian. Since he's the big shot here. Are you Ian, the boss of the mine? Yeah, I'm Ian. And this is my mine. So don't touch or break anything. Tell me about the mine. If you want to look around here, you need to be careful. There are mine crawlers in the caves. You better stay in the main shaft. And leave the Templars alone. Even if they only hang around most of the time. They're the best fighters you can ever have at your side when it comes down to the crawlers. I'll keep that in mind. I have some work to do, and don't keep my boys from doing their work. I'll just have a look around here. Isn't that Gomez's mine? Yeah, of course, this is the mine of the old camp. But in here, there's only one boss, and that's me. Can you tell me something about the ore production here? We dig for ore day and night. This means a storage of 200 sacks per month, and another 20 sacks which will be melted down. Hundreds of blades can be forged with the ore we supply to the king. I've heard that the ore has magical qualities. Tell me about it. The magic ore does have special qualities. Weapons forged from it don't break. Their blades are sharper than usual ones. An army equipped with these weapons has a decisive advantage in battle. Tell me more about the ore. Unfortunately, the magic powers of the ore vanish during the smelting process. They know the right smelting technique in the blast furnaces of Nordmar. But even without the magic powers, weapons made from this ore are extremely resistant and do more damage than normal weapons. I'll just have a look around. Don't make any trouble. So what, is, what does he say? Is he saying that... You can uh, smelt them down into magical weapons, or you can't. Because I have no idea. So Alberto. Como esta? That's not in, uh, Italian, right? I don't know. Can I trade things with you? Yep. Anything you want, if you have ore. Okay. So you have a little bit of... Shabizzle. Shizzle the dizzle. What we what do we want to sell? Maybe Maybe some rice? Thirty nine. So maybe some more. Like up to fifty one oh maybe. 48 and then uh, 10, 20, 30, 40. Tuk, tuk. All right. Can I trade things with you? No, no. Yeah. I'm, I'm good, man. Thanks. It was a pleasure making a buizen as uh, so many chests. So many chat tests, chat tests, chat tests. Save game. Old mine. Come on. Okay. I think might have screwed up one or two quests already, but who cares? Oh. So let's see who's talking down here. You have to watch what you tell <gasps> Oh hell. Oh no. It was obvious Rely that on somebody be and you're in trouble. Let's, uh collect these and then Talk to the Templars. Yes, Gornabor. What do you know about the mine crawlers? The crawlers must have a nest somewhere. If we only knew where, we could destroy the whole brood. What do you know about the mine crawlers? The crawl. May the sleeper protect you. Oh, thank you. I'm a good sleeper myself. 
digger. Yeah, these are probably mine crawlers, aren't they? Can't you like lure them out one by one? Are you like planning to attack me? Not you. Are you planning to attack me? Come on, put that. So let's see if this if this works out. I mean, I don't. It was a good fight. Yeah, Next, oh, come on, Temper. What's your problem, I man? I suppose you don't have nothing against me keeping some more. Was it because I hit him in the end? <laughs> in the end or <coughs> <coughs> or was it because I started the whole thing? Maybe if I do like this? Come on, friendly. Ah. Maybe that keeps them from attacking me? I mean, I don't get any XP, which is kind of sad. Also, there uh, is no loot. Oh well. Is there anything here? Because in these very uh, spots, I hope to find an next bow. I don't know if I'm right here. I read this thing about the bow being somewhere down here, but I don't know where exactly. I mean, this kind of looks wrong. It also kind of looks like it could be leading to their nest. And I actually... Actually don't... So guys, thanks. Much appreciated. Rely on somebody and you're in trouble. I actually don't want to go to their nest because... Uh, I think that's not the right way, but... And I think that might be another quest later on, so... Oh, I think I'm right here. So there's a ring. Let's have a look at the ring and see if... See if... Um, artifacts. Protection against fire. Three. No, that's actually not... Not the right place. And I think... I would go down here, it would not be very clever of me. Might be wrong, but don't want to try it out. Okay, so we uh, keep on looking. Let's go to the smelter, to uh, Igor, or whatever his name was. It wasn't Igor, silly me. But I don't know what it was. Uh, I think that's the right way. I hope so. What are you running from? Are you okay, man? Look at his speed. Wow. That's a guy to admire for his speed and technique, running technique. So I've already been playing for... Uh, Oh, come on, guys. Don't be so fucking impolite. Already been playing for uh, 35 minutes, I think. I kind of want to get the thing. Get the bow. Before I stop. I mean... Ah. Was that a good idea? Okay, there's a letter. So it couldn't, be, couldn't have been too bad. <laughs> so many mushrooms. Yeah, but I don't think I'm right here.
Hmm. There are like a crap load of mushrooms and maybe I can even shoot the beasts from up here. Maybe I can. I hit it once, I think. But I guess I mostly I would mostly uh, waste my arrows. This uh, this modus. So um, I don't know. So let's not do that like a stupid person. Okay. Well, that works perfectly. Thanks for installing that ladder, I guess. Because otherwise, how would you be able to get up there? That's, <laughs> that's a joke, right? Are you telling me you can't get up there? What the hell? What the F? So how am I supposed to get up there? It doesn't work. Oh, come on. So when have I been saving? Okay. It was before I went down the thing. No, it wasn't. Well, great. That's great. Then let's try out some things. Oh no, you can go up here. Okay, take everything back. Almost everything. Okay. Well then, that's not as bad as I thought. What is that here on the floor? It's potion cool. That's pickaxe. Pretty cool. And ore nuggets. Very good. I think this is a place where I will get lost, or I am lost already. Uh, pick <coughs> what you prefer. This is like a jumping puzzle. I really like that. But I don't know if it's. I don't know. I mean, you're probably supposed to get on the ledge from here. This seems to me, I might be wrong, but this seems to me like they put the letters there and because the first one didn't work, they put another one there and then they realized, okay, both of them don't work. We don't know what to do. So, what do we do? We put in a jumping puzzle that is, like, uh, very interesting and stuff. But just because we can't um, figure out why our first solutions don't work. So we do this workaround. I think that's pretty funny. <clears throat> My voice is getting weird. And I think I should probably uh, stop the episode, but I don't want to stop it before I get the ball. <sighs> I think... Yeah, this is the smelting area. Before we do more exploring here, and I think I'm very close to the bow, uh, let's quit here. I think we um, did a lot of exploration and got to know this new area and that's, <coughs> that's enough material and progress for one episode. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Um, until next time in the future. Bye now.